Yeah, that's right. We come back to the Round the World with Marco Polo. I'm your host, Marco Polo. And now we're going to have accepting questions for the public. If you got any questions, you, you have to raise your hand and speak louder and clearer. Okay. You know, talking about the king. Right on. Okay, you got a question over there? Excuse me? Oh, okay. Uh, what happened to your face? <laughs> That's what you say? Oh, okay. No comment. No comment, you know. He knows already what happens, you know. What happens is he, <laughs> you know, it's Jackie Acne. <laughs> He's <laughs> His girlfriend is Jackie Acne. You got another question? Who does his hair? Who does your hair? Vidal Sassoon. Okay. Uh, he say that the one time he fell fall asleep by, by the horses and they, <laughs> they, buy, they buy the horses bike his hair off, you know? <laughs> Just like this. Excuse me? Get that microphone out of my face. You got another question? Why is he being rude? Why you been rude? Get the microphone out of my face. Call security. Call security. Security! <laughs> hey, can you take a shot right here? Take a shot real quick. Take a shot real quick. Over here. A shot this way. Right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine now. <laughs> okay, now let's get together there again. Chris! Give a warm clap to Chris. <laughs> Oops. No, Chris. It's cool, Chris. A warm cloud again to Chris. That's pure pressure. That's pure pressure. This guy's having pure pressure. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start now. What what is what's a what's that religion? What's that religion have to be but pure pressure? This a, a good behavior. Yeah, you have to be good. Like, at what certain point it can be good? To you have to be good at all points. So you, so you, you trying to say that the, the peer pressure could be like, like you know, being a good behavior. How can you have, how can you have a good behavior if you don't, if you, I mean, if you, if you got peer pressures a lot, peer pressure, you know, money, um, cops, gangs, girlfriends. Sex, everything. <clears throat> well, you got to pray just to make it today. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got to pray just to make it today. I would say you have to pray just to make. Okay, I want you to sing a song for everyone. Put your hand together. <laughs> Can you see the light? Nine months. Nine months. <laughs> Call them one way. <laughs> All right. <gasps> All right. Now, Chris, we're coming serious in this one, okay? See, but take care and relax. Frankie, tell us, Frankie, you been involved in gangs? No. Uh, you been involved in sugar? No. I'm talking about sugar. Where's my stash, you know? Yes. <laughs> That's kidding. <laughs> All right. All right. Frankie. Lifestyle. You been a murder, accused of murder. Murder? Murder. 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 Okay. <laughs> and that can be peer pressure? No. You think no? No. No. Frankie? Why? No. It was an accident. It was accidental. But you think it was peer pressure when you knew it? When you knew that he was in the ground? <laughs> well, he just jumped in front of my brown pinto, so I had to hit him. <laughs> So what he's trying to say that he was driving in the brown paint and this guy just, you know, blow him off, you know, so like, what was that? <laughs> you know, all right. Tina, that's right. Tina, I'm going to ask Tina one question and she's going to answer, all right? And if she answers the correct question, I'm going to give you 500 bucks. But if she doesn't, she's going to have to give me 500 bucks. <laughs> Is it fair enough? All right, let's do it now. <laughs> Tina, how long is a bug live in Arizona, and when they live into another state? Uh, 
and what they do in other states and what they do in the way. All right. I, I have no answer. She's going to give me 500 bucks. <laughs> Easy money. So, you know, you OK. You got another question? What was that question again? You know, a box, you know, the little box. You know this box? How long they live in Arizona? For how long? And when they leave to another state, you know? Five years. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> Chris, Chris. Can you tell us, can you tell us how it happened this, how, how did you become good? What do you mean? I mean, we heard that you were Been cheesy dead. attitude, you know, low, low self-esteem, no lots of peer pressure, no life involved, and now you're cool, a stud, you know, how do you make the change? How do you make the change? Yeah. What do you mean, how do you make change? You go to the store, give them a dollar and ask for change. Boing! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Just kidding, man. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, Bush. You made like Michael Jackson with a chain. <laughs> Bush, uh, we, noticed, we noticed that you weren't. Can you put these pants real quick? Military pants. Yeah. Is, isn't that peer pressure for you? It's not like something like involved with your peer pressure about killing somebody or something? No, I just wear them. That doesn't mean I killed anybody. Not yet. Not yet, huh? What, do you got any peer pressure in your house? Like, you know, money, situation, car payments, uh, food, nothing that make you really realize that you're in peer pressure? Mm -mm, no, my dad pays for everything. So, so you basically you're a bummer? Yeah. Right? If you say so, yeah. No, I mean, are you asking you? <laughs> no, I'm not a bummer. So what you are? <laughs> nothing, I'm nothing. Well, you have to tell us the question. We, we... What was the question? Tell me the question again. Are you a bummer? No, a flasher, not a bummer. OK, we will find out when soon as we're coming back for this dry shirt commercial for responsible Diet Coke. And we'll come right back to Marco Round the Roll. I'm not going to get into an accident. If I want to drink, it's my own business. If you think that, think again. Halloween night, I got into an accident, and yeah, it was my business. And now it's my little brother's business, too. <coughs> Drinking and driving wrecks lives. Don't let it wreck yours. <laughs> 